Okay. You want me to give my name? Yeah, just introduce who you are. Okay. Hi, I'm Stephen Mullenix, and uh, this is my BAR, and uh, this is one of the guns that was used to kill Bonnie and Clyde uh, when they were ambushed by the, uh, by the FBI. And uh, this gun's history is uh, that in 1917, when the U.S. military decided that the uh, French show show machine gun wasn't working out for them and they needed, needed a machine gun that they could carry into combat, they uh, went to John Moses Browning, who was a designer, and he was working at Winchester at the time, and they asked him to build a carry machine gun. And um, he basically looked at the 1903 and 1905 self Winchester self-loading rifles, and he blew them up and he took their charging system, which was on the bottom, and he added a gas system for the, uh, for the US-30 cartridge, which was being used in the Springfield rifles and the M17 rifles that were in the trenches already, and, uh, and built this gun, and um, double-stacked magazine. And then after the war, they came out with a civilian model, and until 1934, you could go into any hardware store and buy a civilian BAR or Thompson machine gun. There was no paperwork. It was just like buying any other gun. And that's where Bonnie and Clyde and, and Machine Gun Kelly and all them, that's where they got their guns. They just went into hardware stores and bought them. And then in 1934, they, they restricted that and came up with the first NFA law where you had to pay a $200 tax to, to own a machine gun, which the tax was more, more, the tax cost more than the machine gun. And uh, a lot of people couldn't afford it. So, um, but this is one of the guns, and probably the main gun that was used that killed Bonnie and Clyde because it's such a powerful weapon, 30 ox 6 round. They were about 25 feet away from the car, and it would have gone through, through uh, the car door, through, through Clyde, through Bonnie, and out the other side. It's so powerful. So, um, so it, it's just an amazing gun.